Some people might find me boring or predictable, but I bought another ProMaster 2022, 3500. And I'm a bit sad because the 2023 version now has a facelift. I'm still stuck with the old version that has a buffalo-like nose and it's ugly as fuck. Anyways. Like I said, this is a ProMaster 2022 3500, white, zero mileage on it. I bought it directly from the dealer, who ordered it from Mexico, Saltillo more precisely. We used to buy those machines for $50,000 Canadian. This one was 68. I chose a ProMaster for many reasons, but I'll do a full video on this next week. In short, it's cheaper than the other models, at least a little bit. Second, is the only model in which I can sleep sideways. And third, it's easy to maintain from St. John, Newfoundland all the way down to Patagonia. But it's ugly. Now some people online are trying to convince me to buy the German legend called the Spritter Van. However, that won't happen anytime soon. how we plan vans with Sylvain. Sylvain. Well, when people want a van, they want a place to sleep, they want a place to cook, they want a place to wash, they want a place to relax. And that's about it. So step one, show me the van. So, you wanted the place to sleep. The place to sleep is about here, but you wanted the place to sleep and work at the same time. We made it a table. You what? can eat, you can work. You can push the table down, you can sleep. Yes. You wanted a place to cook. Mm -hmm. Cooking's place is going to be on your driver's side, mm -hmm. next to your sink. Okay. And all your funny stuff that you're going to put in there, like your cutlery, your water maybe. And on the other side, what you wanted to have is a little fridge. So the fridge is going to be about here. Mm -hmm. And... That's where the funny part starts. You wanted a place to work and a fancy place to store your fancy stuff. So yep. next to the door, you got this cabinet drawer uh, that opens this way. And if you want to put this guy to bed, mm -hmm. you just slide the bed lattice a little bit. And then it, it becomes goes. like a bed. And nice. It becomes like a bed for short people. What about the back dinette? The what? The back dinette. I would like to see the back dinette, please. The back dinette. Yes. Oh, boy. Whoa, this spins by itself automatically. It spins by itself. So that's the back dinette that you have nice. access from the back. Mm -hmm. And as you will show people, I'm sure, we raise your floor a little bit. Yeah, why? Why did you do? Why well, did you raise your floor? First of all, we're creating ourselves some room to put propane, a little bit more electricity items. And in doing so, we have access to under your floor with two drawers that you can use at your convenience. And uh, show me the working station. The working station, back to the side, entre lateral, which is right here. Whoa, it spins by itself. The desk is as is for mm -hmm. your everyday use. Uh, you can put stuff on your counter and when you need to work, you just click on your little, uh, little Whoa. switch. Whoa. Yeah. There's a magic Monitor screen coming out of the, yeah. And... It's Pretty insane. Make it easy for you to work and see something. Yeah, That's so I have a full-blown monitor coming out of the countertop. Yes. Wow. That's insane. Good job. I am the worst client, but I am the best. <laughs> Bye. Now that you've seen the van plans, let me show you three features that you've never seen before on our vans. First, floor storage. Every time we were walking, working, or playing outside, we never really knew where to put our gear. Now, you have those 51 inch long subfloor drawers that you can use for any kind of activities. Pretty insane. The second feature is that door unit behind me. 
It always felt like wasted space, so we found a solution to optimize it. It has three functions now. First, it's a sitting area for group edits. Second, it's a storage for camera gear. And third, it's a place where you can lay down after a long day of shoot. We can now call this door unit the place where you can do everything in the door. The third and most impressive feature in this van is probably this working station. To start with, we have those drawers where all the camera gear will be stored and charged at the same time. The second feature will be the large working table that will be standing right here. It's easy to say, however, in a small space like a van, a large working table is hard to manage. And third, this monitor mechanism that allows us to hide a large computer monitor inside the countertop and just release it like this every time we use it. Basically, this is the perfect video setup for any video editor on the road. And by the way, this is a B80 Blue Eddy backup system in case we need electricity on the fly. So as you can see, my new van will have very interesting features. From the subfloors in the back, with drawers, the door unit for people to sit and sleep, and the fully functional editing unit studio in the front, it will be awesome. Actually, the only thing that's missing right now is a name. I do not have a name for this van. So far, the most common name was Shadowfax. Two words that don't go together, but I'm not convinced. Let me know if you have suggestions. Oh. By the way, this is my father's company. French Canadian lesson number seven. Bobette. Underwear. This word is a French Canadian treasure. It comes from the 1920s when the ladies just started cutting their hair short. We call that bobbed hair, from the word to bob, to cut something short. The fashion industry then made everything short, like hair, hats, bathing suits, skirts, and obviously underwear. We could say in Canada that the word bobette was born. Today, you will hear things like J'ai du sable dans les babettes. I've got sand in my undies. Il change d'idée comme il change de babette. He keeps changing his mind, like he changes his undies. Et je pensais que c'était un pet, mais j'ai beurré mes babettes. I thought it was just a fart, but uh, my undies are dirty now. Okay, babette, underwear. 